Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing, and in this video, I'm going to finish uh, the build of an enclosure for this NF3 Pro. In my previous video, I've shown you how I make this frame. If you haven't seen that already, then I recommend watching that too. In this video, I'm going to finish it, and the first thing I'm going to do is to add the panels. I have bought a bunch of sheets, XPS uh, sheets. I have used this material before for laser cutting. I've done that in my second video. You can cut this out with a low power laser. Uh, for instance, these letters. Subscribe. You can use this for uh, other things too. I've created the uh, enclosure for the CR10 with this material. A little less than 10 uh, square meters of this stuff. More than enough for this enclosure. It insulates quite well. Because it's used for subflooring, it um, reduces sound levels. It will keep the warmth inside. I have created a bunch of clips. Uh, my idea is to mount these clips to this panel and click this panel onto the frame. That's what I'm going to do in this video, among other things. These are all the sheets. I'm going to cut out. This will be the easy part if I hide these sheets. The most difficult part will be the bottom. I think that this will be the most fun part. Uh, the pieces slide into each other and the rest of these, uh, these large sheets I'm going to cut out with a sharp knife and yeah, put these uh, corner pieces on it. That's the idea. And that's what I'm going to do. So this is the top view. The scale must of course be one to one, so I will hide all bodies except for 17. Okay, this is the part I want to cut out, so I will create a PDF. I'm going to open Inkscape, and if I press Ctrl Shift G, ungroup everything, so I can remove this uh, template. A while ago, I have made this build plate, and I'm going to use this for laser engraving these uh, well, this. The G-code what's created with this tool doesn't have a homing sequence, so I can manually add the laser engraver to this point. I have more information about this tool in my second video, in which I use this tool to cut out a beautiful butterfly. With the laser in Inkscape with the JTAG Photonics laser tool, watch that video and uh, you're good to go. I'm going to upload this to the CR10, run that code, and see what happens. Now I have all the parts and I can just yeah, place them close to each other. So I can uh, cut this out of one sheet, it saves a lot of time. Hey! Another subscriber, Fury3D. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Seeing every subscriber really makes uh, makes my day. I have to find a solution to cut this. So that would be a bit more interesting because it's a lot larger than my build value. It couldn't have gone any better if I flipped it. And that's why this is better visible than that. But if I do the other way around, then... And it... It went way, way better than I could have ever imagined. So yeah, I managed to get the hang of it, of printi uh, printing, laser cutting these large parts. Just uh, flip it over. In the uh, Inkscape, you cut uh, the part in half, flip one half, start at the middle, cut it, flip it over and cut the rest. Most important thing is that uh, everything is lined out uh, correctly. I had to make a few modifications because I forgot about the wires over here. Rather silly. And I have removed the, f the, the bed quickly. So it's easier to mount everything. Yeah. Let's start putting everything together.
finish the bottom and these were all the parts which I wanted to laser engrave and I think it looks very awesome yeah I think this looks awesome how well the uh, the rods aren't colliding with this uh, this sheet the Z motor is a bit wider so it pushes this uh, out a bit yeah it's it stays in place so it's not a, a big problem and I really like these two bolts with the T-slot nuts which hold this in uh, in place so overall I'm very happy with this uh, with this result and now I'm going to add the panels and uh, cut them uh, manually Almost all panels are finally on it. Yeah, I want to place a camera inside, so I need some lighting. So I've bought an RGB LED strip. If you remember from the previous video, I've shown that 24 volt connector, the original version. Well, that connector that was dangling, I have bought a 24 volt RGB LED strip. I should. Uh, be able to connect it directly to the uh, power supply. Yeah, I've modified this one with uh, pieces of wire in between. You can't bend it like this. So I've put wires here in between, so I am able to bend it like that. Usually these uh, things come with a remote control. I didn't want a remote control. So I have bought this uh, wall mount uh, controller a 24 volt uh, goes in and the rgbw uh, connections come out basically it's just uh, connecting the power supply to this uh, input and i'm going to place this here yeah everything is still one piece i can just push the button and light will go on and these clips will slide over this uh, led strip it snaps on the on the frame controller is placed and it's connected to the LEDs. The LEDs uh, are placed. So in theory when I turn on the printer we will see some light or if smoke is coming out. Oh. <laughs> That's hot. <laughs> the backlight of my LCD has stopped working for some reason. I'm going to finish that uh, that door. It worked uh, quite well, by the way, adding uh, the inserts to the door. So the hinges work. The hinge is just a clip with yeah with the hinge uh, function. I will take a look at this uh, LCD. Why that's not working? I finally I finished the last steps which is this stop and finalizing the door. I will put this on 
Hopefully it will fit. <laughs> These two don't fit. That's better. <laughs> oh man. The door with these modified corner pieces. The moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. What on earth have I done? I have fixed the uh, backlight of this LCD. It turned out that um, my previous version of this front panel snapped uh, the resistor R12 in half. It's what a, it, it was a 47 ohm resistor. I had a 182 ohm resistor and the same shape and that works as well. So if you are in a situation that your backlight isn't working, look at that uh, resistor R12, maybe you've damaged it. You probably have wondered why I have, uh, why the, the top lid is completely closed. How do you put the filament in? That's a bit of an uh, yeah, important thing for 3D printing. I will do that in my next video. Uh, that next video I will show you how I make, uh, how I print carbon fiber reinforced nylon filament. And therefore I still have to buy a couple of things and have to modify uh, some parts in order to make that work. And I will do that on the top. So this is still blank. If you made it all the way to here, Thanks a lot for watching. If you want to see more <laughs> of some of these stupid or sick, how you will define it, uh, projects, then um, please uh, subscribe. Hold on a sec. You'll get some, uh, some nice eye candy.